This guy found 45 rattlesnakes under his house and you won't believe what he did with them. In 2019, a man started having problems with his cable service. He wanted to see if he could fix the problem himself. So he crawled into his crawl space to see if he could find a loose wire. But then he noticed a couple rattlesnakes, which are fairly common in Texas. But their venom can cause nausea, sweating, blurred vision, and even death. So being in an enclosed area with them isn't the best idea. But it got a lot worse when he noticed there wasn't just two snakes, but 45 of them. He immediately got out of there and called Big Country Snake Removal. They then came to his house and took them all out into buckets. The man lived around 40 minutes away from Sweetwater, which is famous for a rattlesnake roundup. They round up over 250,000 rattlesnakes in plastic bins before butchering them. Some people say it helps with rattlesnake awareness, where other people say it should be bad. The festival organizers pay $10 per pound of snakes, so he could have made around $2,700. But instead, he chose to have them delivered to a quiet place and released back into the wilderness. He built a secret home in the corner of the mall and lived there for four years before being discovered. While Providence Place Mall was under construction, Michael Townsend, who's an American artist, was running around the site when he noticed a section that made no sense. It was an opening between two walls that led to a space too small to be a store and too angular to be part of the parking lot. But he continued on his run. Four years later, him and his friends were forced to leave the place that they were living because it was going to be destroyed and replaced with a parking lot. Because of this, he got an idea and remembered the space that he had seen years ago. That's when him and his friends got to work and cleaned up the space. They decorated it and took electric electricity from the mall for a TV and video games. The only thing they didn't have is a bathroom, but they were caught four years later, and they all went to trial for trespassing and many other charges, but the judge made the decision to let them go on probation. This man thought he was using a rock as a doorstop, but you won't believe what it actually is. In 1988, David Muzerick was looking for a farm to buy. He found one that interested him, so he went to take a look at it. As the property owner gave him a tour, out of everything in the house, he was most intrigued by a rock that was being used as a doorstopper. The owner said that one night when he was a kid, he saw it fall from the sky. So in the morning, him and his dad went to get it. But there was no proof, so he just had to go with what the owner said. He decided to buy the property and kept using it as a doorstopper. His kids even brought it to school for show and tell. But in 2018, lots of people found small meteorites in their backyard of Michigan, and they were turning them in for a lot of money. So David thought about how much he could get for his big one, but he didn't know if it was real or not. So he found someone to examine it, and they found out that it contained 88% iron, but also 12% nickel which is mostly found in meteorites. It turned out to be the 6th largest meteorite in Michigan, but he still hasn't decided whether he wants to sell it or not. No one came to his birthday party, so Chuck E. Cheese did this. It was Evan's fourth birthday, and he celebrated in Chuck E. Cheese. His mom prepared a bunch of candy, a birthday cake, big balloons, and a bunch more. She also sent out 30 invitations to his friends. Evan was so excited, so they left early to play games with his friends before the party. He was the first one to get there, so he waited at the door for his friends to arrive. He waited for a long time, but no one showed up. One of the workers had to go to the bathroom to avoid crying because of how bad she felt for the boy. Evan and his parents decided to just go home. After a couple of days, the same worker posted on Facebook asking if anyone would be willing to give Evan a present. Within three to four days she had over a dozen presents to give to him. She contacted Evan's mom and said that the store had a surprise for Evan. So they drove over and she surprised Evan with all the presents. The worker said that seeing Evan smile was the only thing she wanted that day. People who survived the impossible. In 2011, while bungee jumping on the Zambezi River in Zambia, Erin Langworthy suffered an accident that almost cost her her life. Right when she jumped, her bungee cord broke, which caused her to fall all the way into the river where she fought for her life for 40 minutes. Luckily, she only suffered bruises and a broken collarbone. Cecilia Seacan was the only survivor of Northwest Airlines Flight 255 in 1987. Only half a mile away from the airport, the plane crashed due to a mechanical malfunction in the left wing. The doctors said they couldn't give an explanation on how she survived, and she doesn't even remember what happened. She fractured some bones in her left leg and got burns on 30% of her body. The strangest last meal requests on death row. Ricky Ray Rector killed a man in a restaurant then ran away. Three days later, he agreed to turn himself in, but then he shot the police officer in the back. His last meal included steak, fried chicken, cherry Kool-Aid, and a slice of pie. But he didn't even touch the pie. And when they asked him why, he said he was saving it for later. Peter J. Mignel robbed and murdered a 20-year-old by stabbing him 39 times. For his meal, he requested 20 beef tacos, 20 beef enchiladas, 2 double cheeseburgers, a pizza with jalapenos, fried chicken, spaghetti with salt, half a chocolate cake, half a vanilla cake, cookies and cream ice cream, caramel fudge ice cream, a small fruit cake, two Coca-Colas, two Pepsis, two root beers, and two orange juices. Finally, we have Velma Barfield, who killed a total of six people. And all she wanted for her last meal was a bag of cheesy doodles and a can of Coke. 
The voice is behind three of the most popular cartoons. SpongeBob SquarePants made Nickelodeon $12 billion. The voice actor for SpongeBob is Tom Kenny, who also voiced the mayor in Powerpuff Girls, Dog and Cat Dog, Spyro the Dragon, The Ice King from Adventure Time, and more. Patrick is played by William Mart Fagerbacke, who is in the sitcom Coach, and also How I Met Your Mother. In the movie Moana, Ollie E. Cravello said she wasn't going to audition because she's seen so many good auditions on YouTube. Then someone finally convinced her. She was the last to audition and she got the part. Maui is played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He said he based the part on his father because Maui was very similar to him. Finally, in Guardians of the Galaxy, Rocket Raccoon is voiced by Academy Award winner Bradley Cooper. I'm in a <laughs> and his sidekick Groot is voiced by Vin Diesel from the Fast and Furious series. I am Groot. These customers bought out a donut store so the owner can take care of his sick wife. This is what the store looked like at 5 in the morning. The line was already going out the door. All of the customers are there to show their support by buying as many donuts as they can so the owner can leave early to take care of his wife who's recovering from a brain aneurysm. Yeah, I bought uh, three dozen. Yeah, I came in the other day and bought 300. When this lady named Jonah got there, all of the donuts were sold out and it was only 7 in the morning. But instead of being mad, she was really happy. Because growing up, she also had a family business. So she was happy that people were there to show support for a local business. Things you didn't know about Squid Game. The symbols on the soldiers' masks were inspired by the organization of ant colonies, therefore dividing them into a circle for the workers, a triangle for the soldiers, and a square for the people in charge. The phone number they used on the invitations card to the game belonged to a real business. When the series became popular, thousands of people started phoning that number and asking to join the game. So to solve this, Netflix had to edit the number. The players never realized that the games they would be playing were in front of their eyes the whole time. Each game was painted in order on the wall of the bedroom. The stairs that led the players to the game room and back were inspired by the the artwork of a Dutch artist named MC Esther. They actually used 456 people to film the first game, since they didn't want to use a computer-generated image. Finally, the script for Squid Game was created in 2008, but was rejected by several producers before being accepted by Netflix two decades later. This boy was scared of the dark, so he slept with his goldfish. One night, Cory and Tori Hamlin tucked their son into bed, read him a nighttime story, then went to the living room to watch TV. A little while later, they heard a noise coming from their son's room. So Tori yelled to see if he was okay, and he said it was just his dresser making noise so his parents weren't concerned. A little while later, his mom went to check on him before she went to bed, and she seen a chair pushed against his dresser and his fishbowl was on the ground. But the fish was nowhere to be seen. She looked everywhere until she finally found it. She said it was so extraordinary that she had to take a picture. When she woke him up, he was Sad because he didn't realize that he had killed the fish. The next day, his parents explained to him what had happened. He was still really sad, but he asked his parents if they could get another one. And he said he would never touch a fish again unless they were fishing. His parents agreed because they wanted to give him a second chance to learn from his mistake. Chilling last photos before they went missing. Andrew McCauley's last photo was a self-portrait taken while he was alone in his kayak in the middle of the ocean. At the age of 39, he set out on a journey to be the first person to kayak from Australia to New Zealand. Unfortunately, even though he prepared for 10 years, he was unable to make it. His kayak and camera were found, but there was no trace of him. He was most likely capsized from a wave separating him from his kayak and ended up dying from hypothermia in the middle of the ocean. Chris Creamers and Lisan Froon. In this photo, they're both smiling at the camera with the mountains of El Pianista trail in the background. On April 1st, 2014, they were prepared preparing to go on the trail. After the trail, the family that was hosting was concerned because they hadn't returned. So they looked around, but they couldn't find them. Days later, on the same trail, they found parts of their decomposed bodies. They think they had a fatal accident, but to this day, their deaths remain a mystery. Crazy ideas that actually worked. In some parts of the world, sunlight doesn't always reach, especially in the winter. So an engineer and an architect placed a giant mirror on the side of the mountain to reflect the sunlight. Alex too, who was a British student, needed money to pay for college. So he created a website with a million blank pixels, each one costing one dollar. On the website, companies could buy a pixel to place their logo and a link to their website. It was really successful and in no time, Alex earned a million dollars. In 2015, scientists discovered that due to the sun, a city's drinking water reservoir was evaporating and had increased increased levels of bromate, which is from the sun hitting the water and can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. So the solution was simple. They covered the water with millions of non-toxic plastic balls, which gave shade to the water and fixed both problems. This dad told 911 that his baby choked on milk, but then they figured out what really happened. One day, this single mother asked her ex-husband if he could watch their child named Xavier while she went back to work for the first time since she had the baby. Her ex kept texting her all day about how annoying Xavier was being. She told him to just push through for the day, and she would find a babysitter for next time. Then at 2.30 in the afternoon, she got another text from him, saying that Xavier had stopped breathing because he had choked on milk, and that they were going to the hospital. She then packed up from work and rushed to the hospital too. The doctors did a CT scan and found out that Xavier 
Xavier was bleeding from inside his brain. Then she was shocked when the police arrived to do interviews. That night, the father was arrested for first degree child abuse. Xavier was in a coma for two weeks, and the doctors told his mom that he might be blind, he might not be able to move, and he might not be able to speak. Three months later, he so far wasn't diagnosed with anything, but to try and prevent anything bad from happening in the future, his mom started taking him to a bunch of different therapists. Everyday items that prisons have banned and why. Gum has been banned for a few reasons, but one of them is because it can be used to jam the cell door's lock. So when a guard tries to lock it, it won't and the prisoner can get out. A lot of prisoners spend time drawing or writing on paper, and although that's allowed, they can't have a notebook that has a spiral. You may think it's because it could be made into a weapon, which is true, but it could also be used to pick a lock. Finally, in lots of prisons, you're not allowed to have a hardback book, because they could be a good hiding place for a weapon which has been done before, but another reason is because a big book like Harry Potter, for example, would hurt if some was hit in the back of the head with this evil dad cut off his daughter's hair without her permission. The girl's name is Kelsey and her parents couldn't do anything together without arguing. So they eventually got a divorce and a little while later her dad married one of his co-workers, which made Kelsey closer to her mother. She would always tell her mother how much she liked her friend's hair highlights. So the day before her birthday, her mom booked her a hair appointment to get highlights as well. She was so happy, but then the next day came around. She got the blonde highlights, then she went to her father's house. He was so angry because she changed her hair without asking him first. Her stepmom said that she deserved a punishment then grabbed scissors and gave them to her dad. He then started cutting off all of her hair. She started crying then stayed in her room for the next two days until her mom picked her up. Her mom was furious then took these pictures and posted them on Facebook calling out her ex-husband. A local hairdresser saw the post and told her she would make her a custom wig. An investigation then took place and her dad and stepmom were arrested. Gadgets that give you superpowers. MYO is a bracelet made by Telmic Labs. It allows you to control your electronics with simple gestures. The sensors detect the movements in your arm muscles, and some of its functions are you can control the volume of your music, you can control drones, and you can also play games without the joystick. If you've ever wanted to throw fire with your hands, you can with the Pyro Mini Flamethrower. You put it on your wrist and it lets you throw sparks, flames, and fireballs. It does this by quickly burning tissue. The exoskeleton is a full bodysuit. It has integrated weapons, it's bulletproof, it increases your mobility and strength by taking the stress off your joints and muscles, which even allows people in wheelchairs to stand up and walk. Game show cheaters caught on live TV. Terry Nees perfectly guessed the price of a showcase on the TV show The Price is Right. He was the first person to ever guess the exact number in 38 years of the show. After studying the show for 4 months with his wife before going on it, they realized that every single price was in the exact same order on each show, so all they had to do was remember it. After making it all the way to the final round, Terry remembered that the showcase was around $23,000. He couldn't remember the last 3 numbers, but it didn't really matter. Because on the show, if you're close enough to the number, you still win. But he decided to fill in the last 3 numbers with his wedding date and his wife's birth month and it ended up being the exact price. After the show, he explained to the host how they memorized the pattern from each show. And after that, the show completely changed, so now all the prices are random to ensure that it doesn't happen again. But since Terry technically didn't break any of the rules, he got to keep the prize. This little girl got hit by a baseball going 105 miles per hour. Todd Fraser hit a foul ball into the stands which hit a toddler in the face. All the players were worried for the girl and some couldn't even look at her. Some of the players were in tears and some of them were praying. She was then rushed to the hospital and here's what some of the players had to say. No, I have uh, two kids under three years old and just hope she's alright. Every stadium needs to have nets. That's it. I don't care about the view of a fan or what. It's all about safety. And I still have a knot in my stomach. Major League Baseball requires to have net in the green area, but they don't require any in the red areas, which is where the girl got hit. This guy didn't do any work in a group project so his partner got the ultimate revenge. The girl in the group needed 50% or better to pass the class and graduate. So she calculated that if she got 0% on the project she would still pass. Since her partner didn't want to fail the class, he would call her every once in a while to see how she was doing. The girl kept saying she was almost done it when in reality she hadn't even started it. The day before it was due he called her to ask her if she could send him the presentation. She sent him an empty powerpoint then shut off her phone so he couldn't call her. The day of the presentation he was nervous but the girl reassured him by saying she would do everything. When they got up to present to the class she said I already had a good enough grade to pass the class and since my partner decided not to do any work I decided to take the day off. He ended up having to go to summer school but he didn't pass so he has to take his senior year all over again. Here's how they did the biggest bank heist in the world. 25 robbers started by renting a property about a block away from a central bank in Brazil. Then they started digging a tunnel to the basement of the bank. They knew there would be a lot of dirt, so they faked being a landscaping company by putting up signs, renting a van with an ad on it, and even introducing their business to the neighbors. They then dug a 260 foot tunnel to the bank that even had air conditioning and lights. When they got there, they broke through a vault that had 70 million American dollars. They brought it back to the rental property, then transported it away in getaway cars. The next day, one of them decided to buy 10 cars 
cars with cash, which set off an obvious alarm so the owner called the police and he was arrested. He ended up telling the police a few people's names who were involved and they were arrested too. But in the end, the police only retrieved $8 million and some of them are still on the loose. Shocking food tricks and commercials that you didn't know about. Believe it or not, most companies have a food stylist. Their job is to make the product look as good as possible. For example, the stylist from McDonald's places the ingredients, then grabs a hot metal object and melts the cheese. Then he uses a syringe to shape the mustard and ketchup but only on the side that they're taking the picture on. But after they take the photo, it's still not done yet. They then go on the computer and boost all the colors to pop more. They also tidy up the placement of the ingredients and here's what the final result looks like compared to the actual burger. And Commercials, TV shows, and movies, they don't use real ice. They use fake ice made out of silicone rubber. This gives the photographers and videographers more time since the ice doesn't melt. But there's also two more reasons. The first one is that it just looks better. And lastly, the fake ice cubes don't make any noise. Which is good for movies and TV shows where people are talking and you need to hear what they're saying. The disturbing secret behind this mannequin will give you goosebumps. In 1930, a bridal shop owner put a new mannequin and dress in the display window. Everyone who walked by it would stop and take a look at it because they all thought it looked way too real. The daughter of the shop's owner was about to get married in one of the gowns from the shop. But on the day of her wedding, she got bit by a venomous black widow spider. She got really sick and couldn't attend her wedding. And before the day was over, she unfortunately passed away. When her father placed the mannequin in the window, people started getting weird feelings in their stomach because of how similar the mannequin looked to his daughter. Many people think that he preserved her body and used it as the mannequin. When the owners sold the store, the new owners kept the mannequin. Many tourists go to the store just to look at the mannequin. A worker that changes the gown two times a week said that she starts to sweat when she goes near it, and that she's seen enough of the body to know that it's not your average mannequin. The hands look extremely real and there's even veins on her legs. Customers have even said that she moves when you're not looking, but nothing has ever been proven that it's not just a mannequin. The most shocking moments caught on live streams. This Twitch streamer who goes by Mr. Big got the police called on him for a noise complaint. But when the police came to his door, he refused to give them any information, so he was arrested. It was all captured on his live stream, but that wasn't even the most crazy part. A few minutes later, one of his neighbors comes in and starts stealing things from him. The most uncomfortable products ever designed. Number one, this child car seat. In order to help parents keep their children quiet in car seats, a designer came up with the idea to paint Disney's Princess Cinderella on it. It looks good when there's a small child sitting in it, but as they get older, you'll have to adjust the headrest and to do that, you have to stretch Cinderella's neck. Number two, these Kleenex tissues. We all know the typical Spider-Man pose, and someone decided to put that on a Kleenex box. And whoever designed it didn't think it through, because they put the image in a way where it looks like you're pulling tissues from Spider-Man's bum. Number three, Wonder Woman scissors. The scissors have a good design when they're close, but when opened, it looks like you're splitting Wonder Woman in two. And finally, number four, the red ribbon. In a children's hospital, they painted a pathway that's supposed to look like a red ribbon, but instead it looked like a path left by someone dragging a bloody body. The scariest booby traps in the world. Punji sticks were one of the most famous booby traps used in the Vietnam War. It was made out of bamboo sticks with a sharp point at the end, which were placed in deep holes that they camouflaged so nobody could see them. The goal is that the enemy would fall into the pit and the punchy sticks would pierce them. Cartridge traps, also known as toe poppers, were bullet cartridges that were placed inside a bamboo tube and a nail which they camouflaged into the ground with the tip protruding. When stepped on, the pressure of the bullet caused it to fall on the nail, igniting the primer and exploding. Finally, when the Germans were retreating from the cities of Europe, they made sure to place expensive works of art with explosives that would go off with the slightest movement. The trick was to leave the painting slightly tilted so that when they were straightened, they would explode. This 15 year old is allergic to air and here's how she survives. One morning, Martina Baker woke up with red itchy dots all over her body. Then she suddenly got a swollen throat. Her symptoms kept going away then coming right back for weeks. Her parents kept bringing her to the hospital, but they couldn't figure out what was happening to her. So they then took her to an immunologist who diagnosed her with mast cell activation syndrome, which causes her to be allergic to anything in the air that isn't oxygen, including perfume, smoke, heat, water, and a bunch of other things. She takes medication every day and also carries EpiPens just in case. She didn't go outside often, but when she did, she had to wear a mask. And this was before everyone else had to wear masks, so she was bullied. Then her mom heard about a service dog program. The dogs are trained to smell the air, then warn the owners to stop walking forwards. They decided to get one, and now whenever the dog senses that she'll get an allergic reaction, it will start giving her kisses on the cheek to warn her. 
This boy said he got a pencil stuck in his ear, but it turned out to be something much worse. This boy went to the hospital with his grandma after saying he snapped the pencil in his ear. Apparently he was playing in it with his ear when it accidentally snapped off. While the doctor was trying to find something in his ear with a camera, he asked the boy to describe it. And the boy said it was just a small piece. The doctor wanted to remove it as soon as possible, because leaving it in his ear for too long could cause an infection or even death. But when the doctor was pulling it out, he realized the boy was lying about what was actually in his ear. Instead of pulling out part of a pencil, he pulled out a watch battery. The doctor also said he couldn't see his eardrum anymore because the battery made a hole in it. But luckily they regrow and it should be back to normal within 6 weeks. This fast food worker heard yelling in a car then instantly jumped into action. 19 year old Logan Simmons was a manager at Chick-fil-A. One day he was working in the kitchen getting ready for dinner rush when a lady pulled up to the drive through window. But he noticed something was off. He saw the lady having a conversation with someone in the back seat but the conversation looked unusual. It turned out there was a toddler in the back seat but his seatbelt had locked on him and he was having a hard time breathing. Every time he tried to get out the seatbelt would get tighter to his neck. Logan noticed that it was so tight to his neck that he was turning red and starting to lose consciousness. But the problem is Logan was inside the restaurant with all the other employees. Employees. And by the time he ran out to the front door, it would have been too late. So he sprung into action and jumped out the drive through window. He then asked the mom for permission to do something crazy. She agreed so he grabbed his pocket knife and cut the seatbelt. The toddler then started crying and that's how Logan knew he could breathe again. This lady called the police on a girl selling water and here's what the cops did. One day in the summer of 2018, it was really hot and humid. And a girl named Jordan wanted to go to Disneyland. So she got the idea to sell water bottles and use the profit to go on her trip. Her mom stood by and watched to make sure everything was under control. She got plenty of customers since she was on the sidewalk that led to the San Francisco Giants game. But all of a sudden, an angry lady approached her. She said that she was trying to work across the street but there was too much noise. She also said that the girl was breaking the law by selling water without a permit. Jordan didn't pack up and leave so the lady got out her phone and called 911. Jordan's mom decided to start recording her and she posted it online where it went viral. The lady in the video later apologized on live television and said that she didn't actually call 911, she was only pretending to get the girl to move. But it was later revealed by the police that she actually did call 911 and overreacted. This lady refused to tip the waiter but didn't realize what she left on the table. Armando dropped off two slices of pizza for a lady and a child at their table. Then the lady questioned him on why there is only a few pictures of women on the wall. Since he was just a waiter at the restaurant and had no clue, he jokingly said that maybe women just don't eat pizza much. A few minutes later, he went to check on them but they were gone. The lady had left the restaurant without paying and she left him a handwritten note that said, maybe women don't tip too. He felt bad because he didn't realize that his joke had offended her. Then he saw an envelope on the table that had Citibank written on it. So he ran outside to give it back to her but he couldn't find her. He saw that inside it it had a check for $424,000. Since he's an honest man he didn't cash it and he handed it to his boss. They then tracked her down through the newspaper. Apparently she had that money because she had just sold her house. She apologized to Armando and offered him money for finding it. But he declined. The owner also explained to her that she had missed the wall with lots of pictures of women on it too. This man ordered pizza every day for 10 years until the employees noticed something was off. 48-year-old Kirk Alexander loves Domino Pizza so much that he orders it almost every single day. The general manager named Sarah said that he orders every day or every other day and all the employees know who he is. But one day, the staff noticed that he hadn't ordered in a few days so they just figured he was on vacation. A few days later, the manager looked at when his last order was and it was 11 days ago. At this point, the manager knew something was off so she sent one of her employees to check on him. When he got to Kirk's house, he noticed the lights were on so he knocked on the door but there was no answer. He decided to get out his phone and he called them several times but still there is no answer. At this point he knew something was off so he called 911 and explained the whole situation. When the paramedics got inside they found out that he had suffered from a stroke and they said if they were just one day later he may not still be alive. This missing 6 year old was found alive behind a staircase. Paisley Schultes was reported missing when she was 4 years old. In New York in 2019. In 2021 the police got a tip from someone to search a house. And when they got there this is what they found. After going up and down the stairs many times, a detective felt something was off. So he looked a little closer in between the cracks of the staircase and saw a blanket. Inside was the girl and her mother hiding. The police said that the girl was abducted by her parents after they found out that they were going to give the girl to a new guardian. When the police were driving the girl she got all excited and asked asked if that was a McDonald's. Then the officer said yes. She said she remembered loving McDonald's but she hadn't gone there in a long time. So the officer immediately turned around to go get her some McDonald's. This picture is not what you think it is. At first it looks like a fish on a plate, but if you tilt your head to the side, it's actually a lady. 
Three rejected Shark Tank pitches that made millions. First off, we have the Ring Doorbell. So if you don't know what it is, it's a doorbell that has a camera on it. And whenever it detects motion or someone rings the doorbell, it sends a notification to your phone, where you can then go onto the app and see them or even talk to them. When Jamie Siminoff appeared on the show, the company was worth $7 million. Now the company doesn't just make doorbells, but they also make home security systems and a bunch more. Amazon gave them $1 billion to have their items on their website. The Books is an online flower delivery service. In 2014, they left Shark Tank without an investor. But three years later, one of the sharks needed flowers for his wedding and ended up using the service. After that, he ended up investing in them. And in 2017, they sold $1 million of flowers in just one day. Finally, the bed jet is placed under your covers and allows you to change the temperature, rather than changing it for your whole house, which costs more money. But since he had no sales, all the sharks were out. When he released it to the market, he sold $3 million worth in his first month. Why North Korea is the hardest country to escape. Since Kim Jong-un took power in North Korea, it's become harder and harder to cross the North Korean border. When his father was in charge, the number of people who crossed the border was higher because the border security was less tight. They could simply bribe the local border control and they would let them pass into China. But when Kim Jong-un realized this, he decided to tighten the security. And now the border patrol can shoot anyone that tries to cross the border. He also had an electric barbed wire fence installed across the border. There's lots of escape rooms, but they're all really dangerous. If anyone manages to reach China, they'll have to stay in hiding because if they're found by the authorities, they'll be sent back to North Korea where they'll be accused of being spies. So instead they have to reach a country where they won't be deported, which is Thailand. When they arrive in Thailand, they must turn themselves in to the authorities to be transferred to that country. It can take them between two to six months to complete this escape, but the people who decide to do it prefer to take the risk rather than continue living in North Korea. Why squeezing your pimples is a bad idea. Our body always tells us when something's wrong. That's why when the pores of our skin become clogged and infected with bacteria, we get a red, lumpy, pus-filled pimple. Trying to make it go away faster by popping it is a terrible idea. The pressure you apply by squeezing your pimple will force the pus outwards, tearing your skin, creating a new wound that can easily turn into a scar. You're also likely to worsen the wound by adding new bacteria from your hands, because at least 150 types of bacteria are on your hands even when you think they're clean. Another thing that could happen is if you don't remove the entire pimple and accidentally push some dirt inside it, you can get an even bigger pimple and increase the chances of it being infected. If you have lots of acne, it's better to go to a specialist who knows how to treat them. And if you only have a bit, just wait for it to go away on its own. Here's why the richest man in the world lives in a $50,000 house. I'm sure most of you know this, but the richest person in the world is Elon Musk with a net worth of around $237 billion. He used to own 8 mansions, but he went on a selling spree and sold 7 of them. He put his last house on the market for $37.5 million, but he later took it down and I'll explain why in a couple seconds. He did all of this so he could move himself and his Tesla headquarters to Texas, which has no personal income tax. Since Los Angeles, where he was living, has the highest level of income tax, he said by moving his business to Texas, he would save $2.5 billion per year. In Boca Chica, Texas is where Elon's other company called SpaceX is located. There's plenty of beautiful mansions within a 30 minute drive of the facility, but instead he decided to buy a $50,000 portable house so he could stay at SpaceX 24-7. But like I said, he still has a mansion in San Francisco, but he only stays there when he's attending events in California. 3 home alone traps that would kill you. In Home Alone 2, Kevin makes a swinging pipe at the top of the staircase, then throws it at them directly in the face before cutting the rope and letting it fall on them. The first impact would probably be enough to kill them, because a heavy pipe like that would crush a human skull. But if that wasn't enough to kill them, then when Kevin cuts the rope and the pipe falls on them, that would do it. In the first movie, Kevin pours water on the stairs to make ice. Falling down stairs that are concrete can cause a lot of broken bones and even death. The men could have easily broken their necks if they landed the wrong way, and Harry was even close to it when he landed on his back. Finally, in Home Alone 3, Kevin set up a trap where it looks like he's trying to get up somewhere, but it was actually a prop that's attached to a lawnmower by a rope. So when he pulled on it, the lawnmower fell on him. We all know that this would have shredded him, but in the movie, all that happened is he got a nice little haircut. Three people who beat the system. A lady from Vancouver spotted her stolen bike for sale online. She phoned the police but they were busy that day and couldn't help her. So she decided to call the thief and say she was interested in buying the bike. They met at McDonald's and she immediately knew that it was hers. So she asked to try it out and he agreed and she never came back. Kimberly Oakley left a note for her son Jason saying can you hang this out please. But she didn't specify what this meant. So Jason took her words more serious than she thought he would and literally hung up the note and sent her this picture. Now before I tell you about the smartest kid, I found an app that gives you these secret emojis emojis, and also a bunch of cool fonts. Just press a button on my profile to get it. Finally, this kid's mom has simple rules. No food in the living room and no technology in the kitchen. So the boy beat the system by laying in between the two. Five animals that can live after death. 
chickens can live without their heads as long as their brain stems aren't cut off. Because most of their motor functions aren't controlled by the brain but by the brain stems. Salamanders have the ability to regenerate limbs and organs so they don't die. When they're old enough they could regenerate again and again, even their brain, heart, and spinal cord. After a snake loses its head it still has hours to live. So you better stay away from its head because it can still inject you with its venom even after death. Flatworms can rebuild any part of its body after it's cut off. If they're cut in half, the head will rebuild the tail and vice versa, resulting in two flatworms. Cockroaches are resistant to radiation and are most likely to survive a nuclear attack. They can live after decapitation for a long time, but since they can't eat, they die of starvation. Five people who beat the system part four. This guy had to send in a picture of him in a suit and tie to his work. But he doesn't own one so he photoshopped his face on somebody else's. A mayor in Brazil prohibited bar owners from setting tables on the sidewalk. So their solution was to put them on the back of a truck. At a camp, all the kids had to write a letter home before they ate. So this kid just wrote, I was forced to write this to eat. The students in this class had to pick a Marvel character, then write a resume and cover letter pretending to be them. So this student chose to do Groot and since the only thing he says is I am Groot, that's what he put for everything. Before I show you the smartest kid, I found an app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. Just press the button on my profile to get it. This boy's mom put a lock on the drawer, so when he's misbehaving, she puts his electronics in it. But she never knew that the boy could take out the top drawer to get to the bottom one. Five things you eat that are a lie. Fruit Loops don't have any different flavors. They all taste the same, the only thing that changes is the color. Fortune cookies aren't originally from China. They were created in the United States by a Japanese man named Makoto Hagiwara. But lots of people still argue that he didn't make them. The crab meat you find in sushi is actually an imitation. It's made with finely ground white fish that's shaped, colored, and flavored to look like a crab. Pringles potato chips aren't only made of potatoes. They actually contain less than 50% and the rest is made up with flour and cornstarch. Finally, the double stuffed Oreo cookie cookies aren't actually double stuffed. They only have 1.92% more filling than the original cookie. Amazing treasures that were found by accident. In 2006, a fisherman got his anchor stuck on a giant clam and soon realized there was a large pearl inside of it. Ten years later, he gave it to his aunt who gave it to the mayor to show off at a museum. They then realized how valuable the pearl was. Because the pearl weighed 34 kilograms and was 30 centimeters wide by 67 centimeters long, with a value estimated to be around 100 million dollars. The Crater of Diamonds is located in Arkansas and is open to the public so they can go and find their own diamonds. In 1924, W. O. Basham was lucky enough to find an 8 gram diamond which became the largest ever found in the United States. And in 1971, it was sold for $880,000. According to an urban legend, Atari threw out a bunch of its systems into a garbage dump. So Joe Lewandowski, the owner of the garbage company, found records of where the garbage went and invested $50,000 into a search. It turns out that the legend was real and he was able to sell them all over the world for almost $108,000. Bizarre things found in people's backyard. A man found a dinosaur bone that was 250 million years old. A couple who bought a house in California found an anti-nuclear bunker from the 1960s. It was built during the Cold War and was 4 meters underground for radiation protection. One man found human bones while doing yard work. He took them for examination and they were determined to be bones from a thousand years ago. A man digging came across a passageway that led to the pyramids of Egypt. He dug around 30 feet down the tunnel and archaeologists confirmed that it was a tunnel leading to Egypt's oldest pyramid. In Iowa, a family found a mammoth femur in 2000. 2010. He kept it for 16 years until it was finally examined in 2013. Scientists determined that the bone was approximately 12,000 years old and belonged to a woolly mammoth.